I got a gas tank, so no more feeding it off of the jug. Uh, so I'm going to be putting that in. I got the sending unit, put all that together, and put it up in the car. And then I got a regulator because the whatever fuel pump I got on this thing, it's a mechanical fuel pump, but it's putting out too much pressure for this Edelbrock, so I need to regulate it down a bit. But I've got, man, this is annoying with the fogging up lens. I've got um, a lot of the wiring kind of tidied up, like my starter wiring up in here. Got it all loomed along with my electric choke. That's kind of kind of nice. All right, got some good progress tonight. Got the uh, gas tank installed, and here's my ground wire for the sending unit. Just grounded it right there. Even found a random piece of tubing with a flare that fit in there. That's what happens when you work on projects for years and collect stuff. Uh, because I needed a, a barb fitting to run a piece of uh, hose to where I'll have my, my steel line right up in there. And then up here, if my light will work, that's all the old filler neck there, and I'm probably going to regret not replacing that rubber piece there. It'll probably leak as soon as I put gas in it. Uh, I found a bolt for the little hanger thing for it, because there's a lot of missing bolts and stuff, so bolted that up. Of course, there's a new O-ring that goes into the tank itself, and then um, I need to get a piece of tubing or a rubber hose for that vent right there to run to the tank. I think the exhaust I'm going to run, I'm going to dump them out the sides because right where they're at now the exhaust goes right into the car, not a good place for it so I'm going to run it out the sides instead of trying to maneuver it around the tank and stuff. I like the look of the side dumps anyway. Just dump it out the side here on either side. So since I'm out of parts for the fuel system I think I'm going to come up here and lower the radiator and get that project taken care of. Hey guys, another day out here. It's pretty late, it's like 10 o'clock. I've been working on the car. I uh, just got my windshield in today. I just opened it up and checked it out. It's all in one piece, so that's awesome. Gotta figure out how to get that installed. Uh, this is what I've been working on. I built a fan, fan shroud out of license plates. The really heavy duty old Missouri plates, they're really thick. Um, I lowered the radiator one inch. That's all I was able to do before the lower radiator hose hit the cross member. But that one inch will make a big difference, I think. So I got the shroud all wrapped up. I think it's gonna do its job. And it looks really cool. And I also put an overflow tank on there old knee-high bottle so simple and effective got a bunch of things laid out here mostly the electrical stuff I'm gonna start thrashing on the lights getting the lights get, get going on the lights tomorrow I need a I ordered a 20 feet of 5 16 fuel line I need to go pick up at the parts store tomorrow morning and then I can wrap up the fuel system and then I'll also put all my regulator and stuff on there and get it running off of the fuel tank and start working on the, the wiring and I really hope that I will have a windshield in by the end of the weekend. Well I've been plugging away on the car and I forgot to turn the camera on, I've been doing a bunch of stuff here. Got the uh, headlights torn apart and the old wiring stripped out and getting ready to work on that. I got my uh, turn signals put back together. Uh, I put some LEDs in there. That's what that wiring is for there. Those will be should be nice and bright. Won't have to worry about blowing bulbs. Just got done with the taillights. Put some new lenses on there. 
makes a big difference. And I put new, uh, just regular um, sockets for the filament bulbs in there. Um, had a had a hard time with that. I ended up using self-tapping screws to screw the the socket in place to this, so it'll get a, so it got a good ground. So that's all good, all works, and everything. I put some bright, the special, supposedly brighter uh, bulbs in there, and they seem really nice and bright. I've got the wiring all ready for that here. I've just got to run the wiring back this way. Uh, so working, working away. Tail lights are taken care of. Uh, turn signals are good. Now I got to do the headlights. I got the sockets here for those. But all the old stuff is just it's shot. It's it's dried out. It just cracks. It, it's just bad. I I didn't even want to mess with it at all. So better just to start fresh with some new stuff. I don't really want to have problems with it anyway. So I'm going to continue on and get try to hopefully maybe have headlights and taillights by the end of the day. But we'll see. Alright, I got the windshield here. got the rubber around it. Now I just got to figure out how these chrome pieces go. Then we can get it in there. Got my rope. What can possibly go wrong? Got some help here. And got the chrome piece in there. That that top piece has a little lip, so you gotta put it in the rubber before the windshield goes in, and these other pieces you can put in after. So we are about to try to put this thing in. Hopefully it goes smooth. So far it's been pretty smooth. All right, got the windshield installed. Actually went pretty well. Just gotta finish putting all the trim on it. Should be good. Looks a whole lot better. All right, the windshield's in. Actually went pretty smoothly. It helped that I had a bunch of help. Got all the trim installed. Inside and outside. That screw is broken, so I didn't put that one in. And then that right there is where the mirror goes, but the mirror that I have is in really rough shape. So you can't even see out of it, or you can't, it doesn't even mirror anymore, so. I'll find one to put in there, and looks really good. Looks way, way better. So now I'm going to get back on the wiring, finish up these headlights. All right, guys, I've been working hard at it most of the day, Sunday. Been pretty much wiring all day after I got home from church. Just helped my brother wire up some things on his truck, and then now I've just been wiring on this. So I think I'm going to call a day early today and go inside. But you can see I got headlights now. So that's cool. That's a step in the right direction. No taillights yet. I don't have the wiring run up this far. But I just got done wiring up two relays for high and low. And this is my high and low switch right here. So that works. A little odd. You know, most people would probably just put a regular factory harness in this thing and replace the headlight switch right here. But this thing has been sitting outside so long that this switch does not even... Well, there it goes. This thing sat outside for years and years with no windshield, so all this stuff is all rusty and corroded. I'm just basically building a harness from scratch. So we got our uh, ignition now and our uh, headlights. And the one next to that, that hole right there, that is going to be my hazard lights, my flashers. And then I will be getting this working. I got a new switch for that. Now here, working on the 57 again, so got this wire loom here, I'm going to kind of redo. Here's a, a little tip for you, if you're working on something. Uh, Home Depot has cheap wire loom, and a lot of it for for like, I think it was like 3-4 bucks for this. It's actually got two in there, 
I didn't know this at first, but it's got the bigger on the outside and then on the inside of that, there's a whole nother layer in there with the smaller stuff. So you get a lot for, for the money. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna loom up this wire, make it look a little prettier. All right, been a while since I pulled out the camera. Got my taillights all wired in and loomed up and running the wiring up here. If my camera will focus. I got my gas gauge run through the floor. Hey guys, what's going on? My battery died in the last clip, so I wasn't able to finish out the video. As you can see, it's really hot and humid out. And my camera does not want to cooperate. But I'm out here working on the wiring. Not a whole lot that is video worthy. But I'll kind of show you what's going on. I, uh... Oh man, this is annoying. I put in a new brake switch. Brake light switch right there. And I got the power side of it wired in. And I also got my my new turn signal switch wired in as well. So this is all good. Put a little grease on there. Works nice and smooth. Which is amazing because all this stuff was pretty rusty. I had to kind of clean it up. I didn't replace anything other than the switch. And my camera just keeps on fogging up. Um, I got my temperature gauge wired up. Hopefully that works. This car was super rusty behind the dash because it sat for many years with no windshield. So everything was just really rusty. But uh, we're going to see how it all works. I got my hazard and turn signal flasher zip tied up right there. And just got a lot of finishing up to do, so I'm going to get after it. And I'll probably turn the camera back on when I get done so you can see the finished product, see the turn signals working, hopefully, if I, I'm doing this all right, and go from there. All right, after much messing around and I changing things and fixing things, I got everything working except for the flashers. I couldn't get that figured out, but I had this all messed up and switched around, so when I turned the uh left side signal on i had a right side front a left side rear and then the other side was the opposite and then the indicators were all messed up you know when i turned the left side on and right side would be on so it was all all messed up i had to change everything back around now i got everything working properly And then the other side, I don't need to show you that. It's the same thing. Other side works. I don't know if I have brake lights yet. I'm gonna set the camera up and you guys tell me if I have brake lights or not. Yes. Brake lights work, awesome. So this is all right now. Now I just gotta look it over and see what's going on with the flashers. And I've only got them wired to the back, actually. Because, because I'm not using a factory harness, I couldn't figure out a good way to tie them in with the front. So I've actually got them wired to the tail light filaments, not the turn signal filaments. And I think what I'll do is I'll just run another LED in here, since there's plenty of room in there, for the front um, four ways. I might throw another, might throw an LED strip on the back or something just to make it a little brighter. But these cars didn't even come with uh, flashers from the factory or four ways. So it's just a nice extra feature, especially an untested uh, hot rod like this. I'm, you know, who knows what's going to happen. I might be using those flashers pretty often. So I'm gonna get back after it, try to figure out why that's not working, and then I need to get the steering wheel back on, and oh yeah, wire up an electric fan. I got this electric fan here I'm gonna put on the front of the radiator, wire that up. I gotta fix my seat. This little bracket that actually holds the back in place broke off. Looks like it's been welded before. 
I'm going to weld that back on so I can actually sit in the seat without the back laying down on me. So, uh, I'm going to get after it. All right, as you can see, I got the uh, four ways working. Well, actually, it's just two ways now. I don't have front yet, but I had that switch all messed up too. I had it, I had it jumped over to the wrong terminal and all that fun stuff. So, that's working. So everything's working. Now I can kind of button up, button up all this wiring for the column and kind of make it look nice, and then I can work on the fan. All right, got the fan wired up, as you can hear. Got it all loomed up nice. That thing really moves some air. That's pretty awesome. That should really help out quite a lot. I know some people said I make them sick with my camera work. It's kind of hard when I don't have a cameraman, but so far I got four switches over here. This one is the fan, and then we got uh, flashers, and tail lights, and high beams, low beams. That's a three-way switch. And a gas gauge that maybe will work. Don't know yet. Until I put some gas in it. So, not too bad. Now I'm just going to kind of try to tidy up some of this mess over here. Alright, got everything looking good in here. Buttoned up. Probably going to get a lot of crap about not using a factory harness. But I think it looks really good. I got everything zip tied up in a nice bundle. And the only problem is nothing's color coded, so it would be hard to troubleshoot an issue. But everything is working. And uh, I took my time to make sure all the connections were good, and I'm happy with it. There's actually more fuses than there would be originally, so that's kind of nice. It's pretty safe. Car shouldn't burn to the ground. I feel good about that. Um, this is the first time I've ever not used any of the original wiring in a car. Every vehicle I've worked on, I've at least made some of the original wiring harness work. This is all completely new from scratch. So, kind of nice. I don't know if I ever showed my tail light wiring, how I kind of I kind of made it look nice and put it in a loom. Kind of nice. And that is the uh, gas gauge that comes with. And this is my trunk latch. Uh, really hot out. Big surprise. Uh, triple digits all week coming up this week, so that'll be fun. I got my seat bracket welded back on. That kind of holds the seat from flopping down. Hopefully that weld will hold. I did like a triple triple pass on it. These uh these are uh, BMW seats and kind of kind of nice. This thing here pulls that bracket up, and then you can tip the seat back. Might need to oil up this side. Not working very well. Um, actually, no, that one makes it lean, that one makes it so it can lean forward, and this one makes it so that it can tip back, and then it can slide. But I want to put a bench seat in this car at some point, but right now, this will work. Maybe I'll find a bench seat up, a good bench seat up at the swap meet, uh, in Springfield. That is an awesome swap meet up at the fairgrounds. But yeah, you can see we got personalization going on. I did that way back before the car even had an engine in it. It's 
So, gotta let that cool. When that's cool, and I'm gonna get this car jacked up and put some ramps under the tire so I can climb under it and get the fuel line run. That's really the last big thing I gotta do before I can actually drive this car. I also gotta put the uh, speedometer cable in. So, I'm gonna get after it. 